Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. We are finally doing it. We're doing the custom pick guards. It's gonna happen and, uh, and hopefully it's gonna work out so that it can continue to happen and not die immediately. Uh, but the, today I just wanted to talk to you guys about this, about what we're gonna have. Get your feedback, get your ideas if you're willing to provide them. And uh, yeah, talk about what the plan is here. So you can see here, and hopefully I can swivel this without, without making you sick, uh, generally what we're working on, we're gonna have Explorer style, Telecaster style, Stratocaster style, LP and LP Junior style, and then V. And well, there's gonna be a variety. So you're not just gonna see your standard Stratocaster pick guard. We've, we've done that. I can already do those. I've done those before for people. But uh, we're gonna have a variety of different pickup configurations couple different shape options, stuff like that. Same goes for the Telecaster. We're gonna have, you know, your standard pick guard and plate or a pick guard that covers the whole thing, a kind of sectional piece that, that interlocks a little bit more, stuff like that. <sighs> some, uh, some smaller plates and pieces like that for like, you know, just a control plate or a full guard for this. We're also gonna have SG style. Sorry, I don't have a body for that kicking around. And these are gonna be available, yeah, in a variety of metals mostly, but also probably acrylic and wood. Now that all sounds pretty straightforward, I'm sure, and that is the gist of it, but that's not quite it. So you've seen what I do with metal art and stuff like that. Um, and there's some opportunities to do some of that crazy stuff with these guards, also with rusted steel, burned wood, all sorts of stuff. The idea here, the the overarching thing and, and tell me tell me if i'm being ridiculous because i'm i'm spitballing with thousands of people right now which is a terrible idea i don't advise it but anyway what i'm trying to do here isn't just create a replacement part for each of these i'm trying to create a kind of a, a bolt-on aesthetic you take this guard you put it onto the appropriate guitar and it changes the look of it entirely so if you've got something with a bright finish you know a, a nice pearl and you take a crazy patterned aluminum pick guard with you know, a cyberpunk kind of thing burned through the, uh, the paint. It's a different looking guitar entirely. You take something that's you know, a, a piece of just some standard ash or something that's had a little bit of burn work done to it and a full steampunk kit of various chunks of thin steel, rusted steel that you bolt on kind of throughout the guitar, the face of it. Again, you've turned it into com something completely new. So that is generally the concept that we're looking for. It's actually interesting because we've had these parts in the, in the works for a few weeks and I've had three different people, all, all awesome people, viewers of mine, reach out since after we started cutting them and say, look, you should consider doing something like this, you know, a bolt-on piece that is almost a kit that you can add to the guitar to make it look really cool. Uh, I agree. <laughs> so of course, I hate to, hate to spoil the surprise, uh, but that's kind of the type of thing that we're getting into that we're looking for. And if any of you have any suggestions or comments on that, feel free to let me know. I know a lot of you guys have some awesome ideas, some crazy ideas, some of you, but awesome nonetheless. And I'm happy to hear them because we're still in the development stage of this. We're still creating the products. I'm you know, spending some time doing up the files and everything that we need. And I'm really excited to get to work on it. And for those of you who are like me and maybe don't like doing your wiring, because maybe like me, you're not great at it, or maybe you just don't enjoy it, um, we're also going to be looking at some pre-wired options probably. Uh, I won't be doing the wiring, don't worry. It'll be, uh, oh, I'm hoping I can convince the guys from Gun Street uh, Wiring Shop to do something there, to put together a wiring kit for them so that you can just go in, choose your pickups, really simple uh, job to wire those into those guys' kits because they're great, and, uh, and yeah, that'll be that. Now, of course, you can just get the plating and put in what you've got or make your own. That's awesome too. But uh, yeah, should be some, some interesting options there. I'm still, still working my way through some design ideas. I think I, I might be keeping myself up at night a little too much thinking about it actually. <laughs> So guys, that's it. I welcome your input on this stuff. You may have noticed that 
the intent here, from what I've got behind me, isn't just to make it so that you, you, know, you can bolt this onto your standard guitar that you've purchased in the store. It's also so that you can include it in your kit build or your scratch build, whatever it is that you want. So we'll have the, presumably the ability for you to kind of come up with a custom design if you need to um, in consultation with myself or my machinist uh, who actually owns this shop. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll figure, uh, figure out those kind of orders when we want, if you guys are looking for that sort of thing. Hopefully that didn't just come across like I'm trying to advertise a product that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching as always. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and are excited for uh, this new idea coming out. I think it's going to add a lot to some of my builds personally. So if nothing else, Hopefully it adds some entertainment for future build videos and whatnot, because we're going to turn some of these bodies and stuff into, into builds that aren't just kits. They're, you know, separate builds entirely uh, with scratch built necks and all sorts of stuff and, you know, some different shape bodies that I'm going to be making as well. Thanks again. Hope you liked it. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and remember to subscribe so you can see what happens with all this stuff. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.